Running is one of the easiest and most affordable ways to lose weight. However, if you want to start running to lose weight, you need to follow certain rules. In this video, I'll tell you what 30 minutes of running does for weight loss and tell you 7 rules how to run to lose weight. So watch the video till end, it will be interesting. Let's go! While running, the body expends a lot of energy. At the same time, metabolism is normalized, calories are burned, and the functioning of the digestive system improves. In addition, the muscles of the body are strengthened. The circulatory system is saturated with oxygen. The level of cholesterol in the blood decreases, and the work of the cardiovascular system improves. Now let's move on to the 7 rules of running for weight loss. Run for more than 40 minutes. The first 40 minutes of running, the body works on carbohydrates, including glycogen, a complex carbohydrate that is stored in liver and muscle cells. And only then, there is a transition to the stage of fat burning. That is, to run to lose weight, you need at least 50 minutes at an average pace. If you are a beginner, you're unlikely to be able to run 40 minutes at once. For beginners, we recommend alternating between slow running and fast walking. For a trained runner, the ideal method of losing weight would be a long run less than at least an hour. At monotonous speed on a pulse not higher than 150 beats per minute which corresponds to running with low intensity eat properly to reduce fat you need to expend more energy than you consume this means that any amount of physical activity works for the benefit of fat burning only in combination with proper nutrition be sure to eat after your workout another misconception is that if you starve after a workout you can burn more calories if you want to use running for weight loss don't starve yourself to exhaustion and also drink plenty of water Train regularly. A light running once a week will be pleasant, but in terms of weight loss, it will be useless. To get rid of extra pounds, run at least three times a week. Alternate different types of workouts. Long runs, high-intensity interval training, trail running, strength training. There are many ways to diversify your workouts. Enjoy your workouts. Only by enjoying what you are doing, you can quickly achieve results. If every run for you is a psychological and physical torment, then the body will very soon begin to resist this stress. As a result, injuries depression and laziness are possible. Be patient. Having decided to start running to lose weight, you must clearly understand that without harm to health, the process of getting rid of extra pounds take at least three months for each. This period is individual and depends on many factors. The number of extra pounds, metabolic rate, the number of workouts per week, the absorption of nutrients in the body, metabolic disorders, the desire of unwillingness to stick to a diet. And here are some recommendations on how to run properly in order to lose weight and see the effect of training. The first 40 minutes, the body burns glycogen. Thus, the first 40 to 45 minutes of running will become a warm-up for those who want to lose weight, and fat will start to burn in the next 10 to 20 minutes. A run at a pace that is comfortable for you, not too fast or too slow. Perhaps jogging is for you. Don't forget recovery. You cannot make progress without rest. The muscles must recover. There must be at least one rest day per week. Don't do more than two high-intensity workouts per week. Run cross-country for 50 to 90 minutes. Such a run requires sufficient physical fitness. It combines a cross at a low heart rate and uphill intervals with an increase in heart rate. This burns a lot of calories. Watch your breath. Try to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Watch your pulse. Aerobic exercise will be effective only if the heart rate is within the target zone. To calculate, use the formula. 220 minus your age. The pulse during training should be no more than 80 to 90 percent of this value. Choose the right footwear. It is especially important for overweight runners to use shoes with enhanced cushioning. This is extremely important for the integrity of the joints. If you're obese, choose a park track and a soft surface stadium for training. Before you start running to lose weight, don't be too lazy to visit a doctor to find out if you have any contraindications. In overweight people, as a rule, contraindications are more common than in others. It is forbidden to run for people with heart disease, hypertension, bronchial asthma, and so on. By the way, friends, be sure to watch other videos on this channel. Links are on the screen right now. See you soon.